Hey guys, Nuka2, how do you do? This is going to be a uh, little short review on an Emerson knife. It's going to be on this model. Let me get the papers out. Or I'll just see. It's the Spec War ASFS. Maybe you can see that, maybe not. Let me focus. There you go. Spec War ASFS. Um, I'm still trying to figure out all the camera. I bet you can hear the little the focusing motors. I, I may change to just manually focus in the future, but um, anyway. So as you can see, open. This knife is eight and a quarter inches long. Close or the blade length is three and a half inches to the very base right here. Closed. It is five, five inches from this part to the end. That's about all the measurements you need. So as you can see it's a drop point. Blade half serrated, well partially serrated, not half. Uh, it's an Emerson USA 2001. That's the year it was made. Uh, so this knife is uh, 10 years old as of the making of this video. Uh, this has G10 uh, scales, titanium liners, steel pocket lip. Totally forgot what kind of steel the blade is made out of. Maybe it's in the papers. Check real quick. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it'll say. No, it's just the maintenance and warranty. Uh, if I find out the material, I'll annotate it. It probably is like a maybe 440C. 440C, possibly. But it has a nice uh, bee blast or like powder coat finish, which I like. Kind of shows uh, fingerprints or in oils a lot, but I don't really care about that. Pocket clip, one side only. Uh, tip up, right hand side. Um, plus, this isn't like a really left hand friendly uh, knife anyway. The thumb recess or the it, this liner is recessed so you can get to the lock easier so for right-handed people um, so you have more purchase on the thumb disc uh, from the right side as opposed to the left side you can still do it but it's just easier for the right right handers the lockup is great phenomenal there's no blade play up or down there was a little left and right, but I tightened it up. Probably still have to to uh, put some grease in it because it's not very smooth. It's kind of hard, but it'll still come out. Um, the only thing that's kind of odd to me is is when it's closed, this part, if you can see that, kind of sticks out from the, the handle. Or, yeah, from the handle. Um, which I thought kind of odd. Um, maybe just, like, you made the handle a little more, uh, circular to cut that out. But that, you need that as a backspace. I don't know, just kind of odd, different. Nothing bad about it. There's a lanyard hole back here. It's quite a, it's a good size knife. It's just comparable to... this out of my pocket uh, to the Recon 1. Recon 1 is about an inch bigger, an inch longer. Uh, handles are uh, about the same, not too much difference. Recon 1 is definitely bigger though. Um, I'm probably not going to carry uh, or EDC this one. 
because one, it's a, it's a pretty expensive blade. Uh, maybe not for all of you, but for me. Plus, it's, it was a gift. Um, so, probably not going to carry it at least that much. Because I also have this one, which is a cheaper. And I put on a wave modification so it would come out faster. Um, uh, so, probably not going to be EDC. What I do like about the uh, Emersons is that they all use flat or Phillips head screws as opposed to Torx bits. Um, I think it's just more, uh, it's easier easier to work on or take apart uh, with just Phillips, because you can find Phillips and flat heads everywhere as opposed to Torx, but you have to go out and buy them or know somebody who has them. Um, but you can find Phillips and flat heads everywhere. This is also the first thumb disc um, I've had, which um, I like. Never had one. It's just it works. Um, this knife also has jimping on the uh, liner, and up here, up here, um, the jimping is not uh, into the G10, so you can you kind of have to put your skin in between uh, the G10 or down into the actual knife to get a grip. Plus you have a thumb a thumb ramp which is per um, pretty useful actually. It actually does its job. This, uh, it's super sharp. The serrations are actually sharper than that. I might have to touch that up but seeing as I'm not going to use it very much um, probably just going to use it as a fondling blade just because it's so beautiful. G10 has some texturing but not compared to the Recon 1. So That's the Emerson Spec War A S F S. Keep your knife sharp. My sharp and I'm Nick with 2. Thanks for watching.